The Grand Steeplechase de Paris is next. It's a three mile five furlong. Uh, we've got some John Morgan horses in, so this could be interesting. Invictus reigns at the top for Derek Hinton. It's a great one, of course, this. King's Measure, John Morgan, Sierra Vista Cheese, Willie Gerard, the lineup and the tree man for Joshua Sutherland. There on time, David Hooley, Agent Arlen, Patrick Hogan, Blossom Will, David Hooley, First Coalition, Leon Van Rensburg, Frozen Hope, and Happily for Darren Thompson. Nightclub of Craig Beckwith, Scalio and John Morgan, Secret Passageway, Leon Van Rensburg, and Sierra Vista Medusa for Vinnie Gerard. 15 of the men on the Grand National winner in this as well. Away and racing. Rare to see the Grand National winner not qualified for the Moors Millions. Not sure we'll make that an interesting race on day three. I've seen the field of that, I'm sure it'll be pretty much a rerun of the Grand National, but without the winner. Anyway, back to this one. King's Measure has gone off into a clear lead, and let's see how strong out they get on the first circuit. At the moment, the body of the field is pretty tightly grouped. And get to the first of 24, and King's Measure skips over it nicely. The others are falling already at the back. Nightclub has gone. That's a major surprise, and let's hope that's not the final race of nightclubber's career because he's been around a few years and he won some big races hopefully Craig's got him saved a year older and he'll be back next season I'm not sure how old he is he's been around a few seasons but he's probably still good enough to get in most people's teams and hopefully that's not the last we see in nightclub because it'd be a pretty disappointing way to end his career a fall so early on and the King's Measure is clearing the lead Habily second, and the line up on the tree man as they get to the third. We'll safely over that one. With King's measure well clear. We don't as far in front as a lot of these John Morgan front runners get, but he's still got a four or five length lead from Habily in second, and the line up on the tree man. With Scalio in back in fifth. In comes Frozen Hope, the Grand National winner with Agent Arlen and Blossom World and Victus Ranges after that one. And the Sierra Vistas are wider on the track in the Green Jackets, Medusa and Cheese. And the two Leon Van Rensburg horses running together as well on the inside. Secret Passageway and First Coalition. And the Victus Range just slipping up there inside. And there on time is the one who's not in shot at this point. Over Fence 6. Safely over that one. With King's Measure continuing to lead. I've said it many times, and a lot of people have said it as well. If John Morgan had a full stable and he ran his horses every week like everybody else, he would probably be right up there going for the championship. But he does insist on doing it his own way. And if he hasn't got perfect conditions for his horses, he doesn't run them. Which is why when they're in there, you've got to watch them. Because it's King's Measure is well clear. Certainly say with the John Morgan horses, when they're in it, they're in it to win it. And they get over the eighth. Certainly doesn't bother running them just for the sake of it. That's quite a lot of us. Probably do. Want to get them in somewhere. Which may be the wrong tactics, but... And there's a forward at the back there. There on time has gone. The theory is they can't do anything sat at home or wherever. So you might as well put them in somewhere. They're all over the next... And King's Measure is the clear leader. From the tree man in the lineup in Habily and Frozen Hope. And they get over the 11th. Looks they all got over okay. And Sierra Vista Cheese and Secret Passageway. The back two at the moment then. As they head towards the next. And the leader stood off that one. We've got over it okay. One or two mistakes, but. Noticeably by the two really Gerard horses, the Sierra Vistas. Both hit that one hard. They swing left handed then now. Still got a mile and three quarters to race, and King's Measure is three to four lengths clear. Probably just three to be honest. Of Habley in second. And the tree man on the lineup, Blossom World is next, and then Scally Owen. As I take the next, and again the leader hit that hard, so did the horse in second. Habley and all of a sudden they're beginning to bunch up now. As 
they get over there because this time the leader really attacked it and got away with it, got over it and away from it well and it's reopened up a through length lead to the tree man on the lineup Haberley and Scalio in Blossom World is next secret passageway creeping closer around the outside Frozen Hope is the one who's just dropped back a little bit maybe finding the pace a bit hot over this water jump and Frozen Hope was slow over that and it's now the back marker but it's King's Measure has led all the way so far despite a couple of mistakes still three lengths clear of the Tree Man and Haverly in the lineup and Scalio in Secret Passageway Blossom World First Collision all starting to get closer Sierra Vista Medusa as well little gap to the back four in Victor's Reigns Frozen Hope Agent Arlen and Sierra Vista Cheese but they're still close enough to play a part in the finish there's just over a mile to go this is fence 17 all over that one they go in Victor's Reigns was the one who was slow this time but it's King's Measure who continues to lead. Maybe have extended that lead by another length now. Haverley's in second. First coalition going well on the inside is third. Then comes Tree Man as they get over the 18th. Safely over that one. And then the 19th comes up really quickly. And again, they all jumped it well. King's Measure now five lengths clear, possibly, from Haverley and First Coalition number Tree Man. There's a line of about six of them now going to share second. And King's Measure's there to be shot at. King's Measure will race into this next one. And it's the secret passageway on the outside who's the first one to really start a challenge. Over this big ditch they go. And now it might well be Secret Passageway on the outside who's in the lead. Secret Passageway is probably going to have to try and cut in a little bit though. So you give a lot of ground away on this wide outside. As they go over this Grand National type fence, suddenly the long-time leader, King's Measure, starting to battle water. And it's Secret Passageway who's in the lead. The lineup is second. Agent Arlen's moved through into third. Then comes the Tree Man, King's Measure, Hamily, Scalio in first coalition. After that one, this is the third last. And it's Secret Passageway in the lead from the lineup in second. Then the Tree Man's gone third. Sierra Vista Medusa is making good ground on the outside as they now swing for home with two to get over. It's Secret Passageway the lineup three lengths back is the tree man Haverley's under pressure then comes Sierra Vista Medusa in first coalition agent Arlen is after that one they race down to the second last and the lineup's now taking it up the lineup's gone on by length the lineup's in the lead over it he goes better jump though by secret passageways in second and beginning to close again then comes first coalition Sierra Vista Medusa is next here comes Scally Owen now with a run coming down towards the final fence it's the lineup who's hitting really hard and now first coalition and Scally Owen have got a better run on him Scally Scalio in closest to us has gone on. It's Scalio in for John Morgan. Scally Morgan is into the lead. Scalio in from the lineup. Finishing really fast is Blossom World, but it's got to be Scalio in, is it? Here comes Blossom World. Scalio in's hanging on. And up towards the line. Scalio in's going to win it. Scalio in wins it the lineup. Blossom World Kings measure first coalition. The Tree Man Hamily. All the way back to the Victor's Reigns. And was that race won and lost at the final fence? Or was it won? with the front running tactics of King's Measure setting it up for Scally Owen we shall never know Scally Owen takes it for John Morgan the lineup was second for Joshua Sullivan who surely would have been closer but for that mistake at the last Blossom World David Hilly ran on to be third King's Measure stuck on for fourth John Morgan and first coalition for Leon Van Rensburg was back in fifth